we did everything we could to, to book celebrities, you know, to get celebrities. I pulled favors because I had done the Mike Douglas show, and I was a huge fan of Harry Chapin. I mean, oh, huge. I mean, I still am a big fan. And, uh, and I remember uh, calling him and asking him because he was coming in to do a concert. And I remember him saying, well, if someone will pick me up at the airport, uh, I'll do it. Well, you know, Kathy Stone, <laughs> get to the airport, you know, <laughs> because we didn't have, there were no limos or anything, you know. So Kathy picked him up, and he did bananas, and it was great. I mean, he sang two songs and answered questions for the kids. And here are these kids in Columbus, let alone the rest of the country, who are, have a show that's really, really for them, you know. So Harry came in, and then the Ohio State Fair. Now, most of us, as you know, were from New York. Um, technically, a lot of us Jewish people from New York, actually, who came in. And I remember the, f the first w week we were there, me and Robert Morton and Howie Blumenthal, a bunch of us, went for Chinese food in Columbus, Ohio on Sunday because that's what you do if you're Jewish and you're from New York. And um, we sat down at a Chinese restaurant and the waitress came and put down rolls and butter. And we looked at each other and said, we got to get out of here. And we, left, <laughs> we got right out. Never had, never had the food. But anyway, just a little aside. Uh, that actually happened. Um, so the Ohio State Fair came up and, and I had never been to a state fair at all um, and knew that I would love it and also knew that it would be a playground for bananas. I mean, you know, that would be it. just what a wonderful place for us. And, you know, again, Cube spent a lot of money and did that big pavilion or whatever we called it. And uh, we were on it. Uh, I think I'd me stop for a sec. Because we could probably hear him. Where are you? Where are you? Michael's coming. I'm leaving. Michael wanted to do it with me. I said, what are you, crazy? I'm not sitting next to you. I said, it'll look like a before and after. You know what might be fun when he gets here? Uh, uh, we can chat for him. It's yeah. just the two of you. Oh, yeah, I love Michael. I love Michael. Telling stories on each other and then... Yeah, he'll do Yeah, I wonder what he'd say about it. You know, we, well, again, we were... I'd say it. I'd start something, he'd finish the sentence. Yes, all the way to the end That state fair was... When I got to Cube for the interview... Are you, are you still rolling? Yeah. Oh, all right. Uh, where were we? You uh, when, uh, oh, the Cube Pavilion. Yeah, so now... Here we are at this big pavilion. Now, in, in uh, the mall and on Olentangy River Road, we had an audience of, you know, 100 people, 150 people. All of a sudden, you know, and, and these kids told everybody, and we were packed, you know. And I think if my memory is correct, we went on, I want to say at 10 o'clock at night. Somehow we changed our time. We weren't on um, at regular time, I don't think. And so we booked celebrities or there were celebrities at the fair. As soon as we got that list, we went to town. And I remember we got Pat and Debbie Boone to come on. And, the, and of course, the trick was to get them to ask a question for the Cube, which is what we always did. Um, so Pat and Debbie Boone came on. And, and uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger we booked. And for weeks, I knew this. I said, look, we got to get this man to take off his shirt. We have to get him to. So of course, one of the producers speaks to the manager. And the manager says, he is not taking off his shirt. You know, he's not doing that. He doesn't do that anymore. He's, you know, he's a movie star or whatever. All right, fine. Yeah, we're going to buy into that. So we had a little plan, and um, Arnold came on, and Michael interviewed him, and Michael thanks him, and this was all planned, and I threw him in a Bananas T-shirt. And Michael grabs the T-shirt, and before, and I knew as soon as I, I grabbed the audience, they come on, tell them to, tell them to, you know, put it on, tell them to put it on, and they're yelling, put it on, put it on. He had no choice. Schwarzenegger takes his shirt right off, puts that Bananas t-shirt on, and it was a wonderful thing for the show. It was wonderful for Cube, the, you know. Um, so I remember that. I, uh, I remember the, 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 the dance contest we did at, at, the, uh, at the fair, and, you know, because those kids, those Bananas kids could dance, and then we found a professional dance person, and we did a dance contest every night, and uh, that was huge. I mean, that was huge. Um, so we just went on and on. It just grew and grew. It, went, it, it was, you know what, John, it was a show that took on a life of its own. It really did. And, um, and, and corny as it sounds, we cared. I mean, we really did give a damn. And I think it came through.